me up. Dropping the truck off in Philly, flying to Miami, driving back to Atlanta, all in one video. Waiting for me to come finger somebody spinning caps out here. Always gotta make sure to just really give it a good, just uh, every There's so much salt and shit all over this truck, it makes no sense. This truck is a, is a representation of Pennsylvania, look. This gentleman over here is dropping this truck off from Pennsylvania right now. The truck just got hot shotted down here. It's covered in salt, it's covered in dirt, covered in snow. You said you got stuck in snow in what, Washington, D.C.? Is that where it was snowing in D.C.? Snow in DC. I'm sure Pennsylvania is a nightmare just in general. I'm not gonna lie. Next big build at the shop. Nine inch McGoys. Was he getting the Eddies? 2614 Eddies? Isn't that what it was? I don't even remember what wheels are going on this truck. We've built so many of these trucks at this point. That's crazy. All right, guys. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you. This was, is this one getting 26 Eddies? KG ones? This is getting a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. There's no way we can do this. We can't film a video and build a truck like this. No, this is Paul. We appreciate you sending the truck to us. 2024. I don't think we've lifted one of these. It's for sure 24. Yeah, we haven't we haven't put a nine-inch McCoys on one of the these. The only truck that I can think of is the uh Ramon. Yeah, Ramon. No, his was the body style before. No, maybe it was. No, it wasn't a 24 for sure, but I'm just getting confused. I think it's the same front end, you're right. GMCs, I know at like the back of my hand, but the Chevys are getting like You're right. I think you are right. I think you're right. It's so crazy because the truck looks brand new on the inside. Uh, but then you look on the outside, it looks like it's been through a desert war. He <laughs> drove through a foot of snow in D.C. around Baltimore. He said he was this. all over the road, too. A brand new truck, yeah. This truck's getting Flowmaster. Flowmaster exhaust. It is a gasser. Nine inch McGoy's lift, matching rear traction bars, rock lights, wheel lights, exhaust. Color matched bed cover. When's the last time you've seen that? Color matched bed cover? Is it white? It is. I've never seen that. That's cool. Look at the. That's how nasty this truck is. This truck's getting a lot. Wheel lights, rock lights, all kind of. The one thing I always like to point out, and he just showed us this. It makes sense. He said the tolls. The license yeah. plate for you. How much proof you need, right? Yeah, from Pennsylvania. I always like to, because I feel like people don't believe us, but. Put the guy's tag number. Yeah, on put it. Yeah, just you know, all over. The, you know, y'all go subscribe. I have to people comment all the time, say, "Well, you put their tag number in." Like, what are you gonna do? What do you? Yeah, go I mean, to their house. Stalker. That's a good point. I'm gonna give Jake this the this one time. He complains every winter about how oh it's dark by five o'clock. Blah blah blah. This is the one time that I'm gonna give you your props. That it's like 5:45 and it is still light outside for us to start the video today. I talk about it every day because so, it was dark at six every single day up until like last week. Now yeah. it's like a little bit more sun every day. Every day is a little bit more sun and I'm, I'm grateful Two, that a day. grateful that there is sun at 545 for us to be able to start the video look at that. we got to take the chrome window thing come on yeah that's paul look he's got look, paul look, come look, on look. paul what you got one up here too it's not as bad but then no, i didn't i didn't notice the one all the, the window things got to go and no we don't do that here <laughs> no no <laughs> no we don't do that here bro what are you doing careful 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 this, careful Careful. Ooh, that boy is soccer player. That boy is soccer player. We gotta pull that trailer and I forgot about that. Push it. I'll push it. Push it, John. I thought you were gonna hit him pushing the old box inside, huh? Leonard, you look good in that thing. Leonard needs to get one of these. We're about to put an air ride kit on this stupid thing. He's playing that thing. Oh, y'all moving now? Oh, wow. Definitely a first. We've never had to run a truck through the car wash. Normally, we'd have Matt come up here and wash the truck, but we need it done a little bit quicker. Matt normally comes later in the day, and we need the truck done quicker, sooner than later. So we're going to run the truck through the car wash. There's a car wash literally at the red light, like right up the street right here. If I could zoom in, you could see it. Jake's going to run it through the car wash real quick because, as, as you guys could see, that it was... The truck's disgusting. I think that's one thing that I would hate about living up north is having to deal with the salt that they put on the roads all the time. Not for me. Clean 
truck looks 10 times better and I think I'm an idiot. I'm 99% sure that this truck's a 2023, not a 24. I'm not always right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you told me about that. All right. Total is 1,077 and 40 cents. Alright, that's fine. Alright. <laughs> Paul, your truck's getting pulled in. We're starting the lift kit. Paul's 2024, so I did clarify this is a 2024, but the lower trim package trucks kept the 2022, 2023 front end. So it is a 2024, but it does not have the refreshed front end. Paul's 2024, 2500 is getting a nine inch McGoy's lift, upper control arms with rear traction bars. It's getting exhaust. It's getting lights, rock lights, wheel lights. It's getting amp steps. It's getting some other stuff too. There's there's so much going on with this interior lights, I think. Um, but the coolest thing about this truck, 2614 KG1 Eddie's in the office with some 37 inch Fury MT1s, 37, 14, 50, 26. This build is going to be sweet. I think the white truck chrome accents on the front is going to complement the 26 by 14 polished KG1s very well. Definitely going to need a cut job though. This isn't going to be as bad as the Denali's are. The Denali's, the Denali's are a nightmare to cut. We've got a 24 Denali on the lift over there. If you guys probably saw the video, the previous video to this one, that Denali is going to be cut like crazy because it's also getting 26 14s and 37s. So we got two McGoy's kits on two 2024 trucks first time we've done a denali or sorry not a denali first time we've done a chevy on a nine inch on a 2024 i was really hoping it'd be the body style before this but it wasn't or after this the new body style and i'm excited paul your truck's getting pulled in today it's getting started today two or three days and we will be out and if you guys want to see the end result of the 2024 denali ultimate getting some jtx wheels make sure you guys subscribe to the channel go check out the most recent video on the channel I've been waiting to show off the wheels. I don't really get a test fit video too much. Jose, you, you, you goes wrong. Yeah, they, they do go wrong sometimes. <laughs> recently, more recently than ever, we've had some wrong test fits. So, <laughs> Jose's been a part of both of them actually. If you guys didn't see the most recent video on the channel, the black Denali that's on the lift in front of the white 2500, KG1 sent the wrong bolt pattern wheels, so that one's getting JTXs instead of the 28 or the 24. And then we had an F-150 last week that we thought we had the wrong bolt pattern for as well. So we are pretty known. We are pretty, uh, pretty, pretty aware of having the wrong bolt pattern. We're pretty used to it. Hey. Yeah! Just leave it like that. Just leave it like that, yeah. We'll just cut it. You have to cut it. All right, let's go back in the warm. In the warm. It's, or in the warm. it's cold out here. No! Okay, gang. Ooh, they got him. Pulled him over in front of the shop. through the other day right I don't want to put him in the video so he's holding the camera for me I got a customer holding the camera for me today I was gonna film his truck we built this beautiful beautiful is it 14 or 15 14 14 just like mine Chevy 1500 7 inch rough country 6 or 7 inch rough country 26 14s and 35s we built this a couple weeks ago I was sick when he came in I wasn't filming and I explained it to him and his wife and they came in that when they brought it back for the retort I'd film the truck because I'm still human at the end of the day People can catch me on a bad day, and I'm just not in the mood for it. And that was one of them days, but I explained it to him. And this is this is Alex every day. Good vibes, good energy, and I was sick, and it just it wasn't it wasn't good. But I wanted to point out something in particular about this truck that makes it special to me. If you guys saw the most recent video, and if he goes and watches the video, he'll see this. I filmed this part yesterday. This is my one of my favorite wheel and tire setups. There's a F-150 that just got picked up yesterday. 2614 Artem Curvises in the all gloss black with the 
25, 1350, 26 Fury MT. The curve of the way that Artem designs the lip, that special kind of curve, most of the wheels have a more squared off lip, and then the natural curve of the, the way they design the Fury tires, they go together so beautifully. I love it. So it was a beautiful choice, and I'm really glad that we decided to do that on this truck. So I want to show love to him and his wife on video. Oh, he's gonna, there we go. Sorry, sorry, putting you on the spot like that. I just want to show some love to him for coming through, building the truck, and you're always, until the end of time, a part of the family. Let's get his bread. So Anthony here. Got a, did y'all get a hotel for two nights? One night. I heard it was two. One night, hotel for one night. When apparently, he, <coughs> no, he's gonna get me on this one. Apparently he didn't think the truck would be done same day. I don't know if Jake told him that it wouldn't be same day, but I feel like the guys in the shop wanted to prove a point that the truck would be done and they wouldn't have to stay the night. He's from North Georgia. No, she's not. Easiest way to, hey. AutoZone, shout out to AutoZone. Shout out to Jimmy and Brandon. I don't know if they watch the videos anyway. Um, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to Anthony and his family for coming down, spending time, spending money. I always do this in front of everybody and I feel like they don't think it's real. They really are standing here. I just don't put people in the videos unless they want to be. Um, but I appreciate y'all for coming by, building your truck. What year is this, 20? 21. <laughs> It's gonna be a 23 today if you didn't if you didn't say something. 2021 Trail Boss, we did a six inch rough country lift, 24 by 12s and 35s. You don't have to put $20,000 into a truck to make it look good. The six inch lift fits with 26s, 24s, 35s, whatever you want to put on it. Do a little trimming. 24 by 12, 547Bs is one of my favorite TIS wheels. And the Repulsors. You guys know I'm a Fury fan, but shout out to RBP. I'm gonna throw them in there. Plug real quick. Six inch rough country, 24 12s, 35s. Jake, what time? Lunchtime? 1.30. Oh. It is 1.30, Jake. In and out, same day. I hate to have to prove him wrong, but we just, we had to do it today. Anthony, I love you guys. Let's get this bread. Corbin, you put the traction bars on backwards. Come on.
Mr. Dooley. Really? Dual yeah. exhaust? Maybe not. I think it's dual exhaust. Pretty sure it's not. It's got tips on both sides, doesn't it? Definitely dual exhaust. Nice. It's not coming out the HDMI ports anymore, though. That's good. What? The 2500s don't have the HDMI hookup bumper insert for the exhaust. It's not a diesel. Is that why? No, that's a 2500. Oh. Anyway, we finished up Paul's truck from Philadelphia. Got something awesome to share with you guys before we hop into the build today. So this time last year, I made a trip in late February. I left here on a Friday night, flew to Houston. Why are you sticking your tongue out at me? I watched, I watched the uh, 21 Jump Street movie the other day. And they were talking to the coach. Jake's sticking his tongue out at me. <laughs> anyway, flew to Houston and flew to Miami and back to Atlanta all on the same weekend. This weekend, Paul's from Philadelphia. Paul did not want to come get the truck. Paul wants to go spend a weekend in Miami. So Alex, in the next video, I'm gonna leave. Today is Tuesday. I'm leaving in two days to drive this beautiful truck back to Philadelphia, 13 hours to Philadelphia. Me and Paul are gonna hop on a plane and go to Miami. We're gonna spend the weekend in Miami and then I am, a, I am picking up a truck from Fort Myers. He's gonna bring it to Miami, which is a 2024 Denali getting a 12 inch Cognito. I'm gonna bring that truck back on Sunday from Jeff. Jeff Berry is the guy's name. So Paul's getting his truck delivered by Alex in Philadelphia in the next video. And I'm picking up Jeff's truck, so let's get Jeff's truck that's getting a 12 inch Cognito as well. So if you guys wanna see probably what, what might be one of the best videos I make all year, make sure you guys like and subscribe and make sure you're tuned in to the next video because that's gonna be one hell of a video. It's all gonna be one video. Dropping the truck off in Philly, flying to Miami, driving back to Atlanta, all in one video. Paul, truck is done. 2024 Chevy 2500, 6.6 .6 gasser with the dual exhaust. We proved that it does have the dual exhaust. There ain't much that we haven't done to this truck at this point that we do at least at the shop. 26 by 14 KG1 Eddies with the floating center caps. I've got somebody in the comments that's been waiting for this and they have just been waiting for me to come finger somebody spinning caps out here. Just out here, just, uh, just running it up on somebody's caps. KG1 has one of my favorite floating center caps, so always got to make sure to just really give it a good just uh, every time I see a KG1 floating center cap. 2614 KG1 Eddie, Eddie, chrome spike lug nuts, 37, 1450, 26 Fury MT. We just went over some curbs on this truck. Yes, you can go over curbs. I'd be careful, but you got enough sidewall with the 1450 that you can get a little bit of a wiggle room. You know what I mean? Fury's got the best tire, 24, 26, 28, 30, and the total tire protection plan. Fury's the best tire if you're doing big sizes like this. Nine inch Mogoy's kit with all the accessories. We've got the beautiful gloss black lift kit with the billet accent pieces. You know what I just realized? You haven't kissed one in a while. I haven't kissed one in a while, but two, the winners are gonna eat this truck up. Paul, you gotta keep this truck clean because y'all saw how dirty it was when it first got here. That salt and snow is gonna eat this truck up, bro. Y'all gotta, if y'all live up north, what? <laughs> They're like, I ain't bringing my truck now. <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault that he lives in the freaking ice age up there, you know what I mean? Keep your truck clean, that's what I'm saying. Make, if you're living up north, make sure you keep your truck clean. You must just like clean. to be cold. If y'all like to be cold, just make sure your truck's clean. I don't care. I don't like to be cold. Maybe you do. Keep your truck clean. McCoy's has the best lift kit on the market. Seven to nine inch with all the accessories. It's absolutely beautiful and I love, normally I would have I would have wanted a chrome FTS to go with the chrome wheels and the chrome accents on the front of the truck, but I love the way the McCoy's looks on this. He's got the upper control arms to match. We do have the upper control arm, upper control arm ball joint caps to go with it as well. We just haven't put those on yet. McCoy's front compression struts come with the accent pieces as well. As always, absolutely beautiful. I fail to mention every time, beautiful torsion drop wherever it's at under there as well. It's got the billet accent piece on it. And then we upgraded to the rear traction bars that as well come with the billet accent piece. Out of the box, ready to go, beautiful gloss black. We do have to get these powder coated when they come in though. A lot of those, none of those come powder coated actually. So we gotta make sure to get those powder coated before they go on. Quadro Infinite Off-Road with their new 24 watt. Rock light. We put infinite off-road on a lot of these builds. They have the best warranties. Quality is good. No complaints from infinite off-road. You guys see how they look on the polished wheels. I'm a huge fan of the wheel lights that bounce off the polished wheel. Just the way it looks is really cool to me. And then their new rock lights are really bright as well. There's one more significant thing about this. What is that? It has the 2024 interior, but it has the 2023 exterior because it's not a high country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I, I had kind of had that battle with myself at the beginning of the video because I knew it was a 24 but we obviously noticed that it didn't have the 24 front end so we had kind of figured that out but I realized that I'm an idiot earlier on in the video is really what happened I forgot it too but it does have the new front end on it you are correct and it does or the, the new interior not the new front end but it's got the big nice screens on the inside Paul's been super excited about us building his truck we've been planning this for a couple of weeks now I'm super grateful to be able to do things like this and again to have the opportunity to travel take the vehicle back make Paul and his family a part of the process make the video just it's a moment that we'll be able to look back on and just enjoy and we'll have the video that's why I wake up and do things like this we didn't decide this wasn't the plan from the beginning I just woke up this morning Paul called and said hey you had offered to bring the truck back what do you want to do and I was already going to Miami on Friday he was already going to Miami on Friday so we just booked the flights. So 2614s, 37s, 9 inch McGoy's lift, 2024 Chevy 2500 gasser with the dual exhaust in and out in two or three days. We did have to wait on the traction bars. This one did not have wrong bolt pattern wheels if you guys saw the most recent video. So I think this one turned out really good. The white, the polish, the black went together very well. Paul, I'm looking forward to see you in Philly in a couple days. Like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, let's get this bread, baby. Get this bread.